Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. Sugriva, in summary, knew when he is asking Vanara parties to go in four different directions and he is giving them landmarks like this. This is only in the east direction. He gives the landmarks in the north direction, Kailash and everything going further, the plantation of the bamboos and everything. And you can. Can, can we talk a little bit about this? Sure. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. Um, what has he spoken about in the north? In the north, he says, start with the center of India. Always, you know, start from like a gateway of India type of thing, you know, center of India. You go further. Now he's going across the sort of a Tibet uh, slash Tibet, you know, where how we people do Kailash Yatra these days. He says, you will come to the Kailash area. He describes Kailash area, not a surprise. People may easily know that, but he describes it. He says a beautiful land, cooler temperatures, no trees. And you can go and check it even now kind of thing. After that, he says the land of many rivers. Which is, if you consider which land is that, that is the 40 latitude today, like the, uh, the western part of China, today's China, and then Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan, that area. That is called Uttara Kuru and Uttara Madra in our literature. So we say where it is, it's there in Mahabharata, it's there in Ramayana, and it is there in the Puranas. Okay. After that, now this is, remember, this is the description from 14,000 years ago. Today you can go just fine until the Arctic Sea, at least in the summer. But Sugriv, 14,000 years ago, he is saying, and I am putting the 40 latitude just to make a point. He says, beyond Uttarakuru and Uttaramadra, there is a land. Sugriv beautifully describes what it is, but he tells the Vanara party, do not dare go there. If you go there, you will, first thing, it's very hard to go. He describes Arctic Sea all the way. Uttara Samudra, Uttaram Payasam Nidhi. That's how he describes the Arctic Sea. But if you go there, you will find it impossible to commit back. Now, why is that? Because the ice age is taking place there. People think ice age meaning the whole earth was covered. That was not the case in last million years. But the whole entire Europe, especially Northern Europe and Northern uh, America, they were covered with ice. So he's saying, don't go there. There's like a permafrost and tundra-like conditions. We, we know that from the climatology study. So he says, don't go there. So that's in the north direction. He describes Aurora Borealis. You know what that is? Northern lights. Yeah. So he says, even when it's a dark land, when this, even when the sun is not there, but the place is so bright, it's beautiful. Mm. Okay. Aurora Borealis possibly is referring to Mahabharata also describes when Arjuna goes there. Now, if you go to the south, he in the southern direction, of course, the Lanka, you know, but further he's describing the land all the way to Antarctica. Now, in, in the modern uh, description, Antarctica was found only in the 18th century. If you see the maps before 18th century, the Western uh, maps, the Antarctica is like left empty. Now, there are some maps in Italy, for example, and Turkey, who actually show the landmass there. Those are from 15th century. What does that tell you? And this is guy Piri Reis. I don't know if that came into any of these things. Piri Reis was a... Turkish uh, uh, na Navy man, like Admiral, Admiral, Admiral or something. And he says he created this world map based on, this is 15th century, 16th century. So Columbus maps also he used. But then he says he used the maps of the Arab land. He used the ancient maps of Hind. And he created, and if you see that, he is showing Antarctica like a land with exact mapping that you can match with Antarctica. The map was created in 15th century, but history books and academia will teach you that Antarctica was discovered by Europeans in 18th century, 17 something. Because the winners of war always rewrite history books. Yeah, because discovery has a very different meaning in the West. Discovery meaning under the dictates, under the permission of the Christian church, the Pope, you find certain land, it doesn't matter uh, whose it belongs to, you basically grab it. Church has given you the right to grab it for yourself, whoever discovers it, meaning literally sees it. So Vasco de Gama discovered us. It doesn't matter <laughs> what rights we have, what we want. To him, it was like the India is for him to explore and exploit. And that's what he did to the best of his ability. And then the British did the same thing. So the, the inside their psyche is there. For that, we can blame them. You know, not the blame the current... Uh, but you know, the residents. issue is also that modern academia still 
completely blindly looks at that system as gospel Uh, in so many ways yes because see academia is a say i gave a definition of nasim nicholas talib you know see it is a regimented thing that they want to stay there it's a regimented thing like yeah. you know which is why countries have uh, straight borders now so that conflict remains in these countries we remain third world mm-hmm. uh why has kashmir been divided in this way correct so that we would be at war for hundreds of years and both countries would suffer exactly and same, be engaged with each other yeah same thing they did in africa yeah. right it's it's a century long geopolitical ploy that's actually still working right it is as a lot about True. how human society can work also true uh anyway that we're yeah. drifting away now since i have gone three direction let me take a minute and do the west direction yeah sure so going from india again central india saurashtra and going through modern day pakistan afghanistan iran iraq turkey syria romania Sugriva is describing all these lands with a chain of mountains, range of mountains. That's what it is. If you look at the geographical map of the world, that's what you will find. He describes all the way up to the Alps, and he says beyond. He calls it Astagiri. By the way, uh, to um, uh, Andes, he calls it Udayachala Mountain. You know, and then to Andes, uh, sorry, to uh, Alps, he's calling it Astagiri. So Sugriva, in effect, just to summarize, knew. Fourteen thousand years ago, from Andes to Alps, and from Arctic Sea to Antarctica. What is Asta? Giri is mountain. Asta is a set, sun setting, set setting sunset of a mountains. sun. Yeah, U- Udaya ah, Asta. Okay. Yeah, rising where and the mountains set. where the sun sets. Sun sets. From the point of view of India, if you think mm, of it, sure. with the India in between. Sure. Yeah. Uh, in the same way that he's described bats in South America, has he described other megafauna or people in other lands? People, especially in the Indonesia and Papua New Guinea, that area. Oh, beautiful descriptions! I mean, you can we can go for hours. Beautiful description, like you know, he describes um, the folks whose ears, and now you can see that in Africa today, ears have come down to like you know to their vest or something, or the lips coming down, which you see in Africa. Body You're modification. Seen? Yeah, body modifications. Yeah, like this. And in Indonesia proper, uh, also in the Papua New Guinea, you actually see people putting all kinds of paraphernalia. just like a feathers and decorating themselves and so on and those descriptions those descriptions comes come there okay. yeah anything else about megafauna mm, uh, uh megafauna not much at least not that i recall right now hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it